Hello, Monsters of Anion. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 4 of my Zhao Ming campaign, where last time we went to help Meow Meow because she's in trouble, and to be honest, everything else is fairly no secure. No. Nothing. Um, was that you, Gung Ho? Gung Ho, you absolute legend. Are you back? Are we sending anyone else out? What's going on? You're returning to the capital. Can I dispatch you? Are you oh, you're on your way. That's that's what's happening. Fine. Okay, good. We, every, everything is under control. Okay, good. Good. Um, right. Meow, that's a lot of cannons. Please. What you doing? Right, we need to take out these rascally rebels. We've taken out the zit. Well, I say we've taken out the zit. Rustro! Hey, I'm walking off it. Why did all the Zinch names sound like... So, anyway, uh, let's get less ambush chance. Because being ambushed sucks. I'll level with you. Absolutely Let sucks. Allow pleasantries to delay more beneficial discussion. Is he coming on to you? He wants a military alliance. No, 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 no. Because you're at war with other people and I don't want to get dragged into it. I'm, I'm sick of getting dragged into things. Plus, you're useless allies anyway. You don't help me. So I may as well just... Do... Okay, you... What? Uh, you don't like blood guzzlers. Okay, so... I could potentially... You know your place. That's why I like you. I could end that. Get it done. And then I've still got my trade. That should, I hope, make you Only like me a little bit more. Yeah, good. Because I would prefer Greasers to like me than some minor faction. What's Grow your forces. I have been growing them. Leadership. Okay, that's Rag Banner. A lovely Rag Banner. Okay, you've actually... Either you've disbanded your forces or you've run away. Either way, that's good for me. I'm going to declare war on you. And we are going to come down... Oh, you are just over there. Are you going to come in as reinforcements? Can we just auto resolve this? I'm just going to auto resolve that. Ow! That stung. I don't know why I was surprised, to be honest. Probably should have seen that one coming, but there we go. Oh, I keep forgetting how bad the Ultra is in, in Warhammer 3. It's okay, we'll work through the pain. Work through the pain. I'm going to be a scarred veteran. An extension of my celestial will. Okay, bit echoey. Like you're doing it in the toilet. It's a bit of a giveaway. But never mind. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you're a big dragon boy. You're allowed to go uh, and do your speeches in a toilet. That's entirely up to you. Let's build that one. That's going to cost most of our money, but that's okay. Uh, last time we had a poll, which was, should we take settlements or hand or like give them to... To be honest, you've got actually got your entire province, haven't you? So that's nice. No border gore there. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Meow, meow. If you're... If there's a lot of smoke in your city, that's not a good thing. It means it's on fire and you should do something about it. Just... Just... F are, are you paying your fire service based on how many fires they put out? Because that... Doesn't... You know, in, in theory, it sounds good. In practice... Eh, eh, now, we have... Six Yang from events, but I can't see what... Uh, someone pointed this out last time, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. But I can't see where... Like, it doesn't say how long the event's going on for. So at some point, we're probably going to flip to the other one. Um, and apparently, you can switch buildings in the building browser. Oh, yeah! It costs some money, but you could do that. That is an option. Okay, well, we'll worry about that in, in a bit. It's not, you know, it, it's a whole thing, but we're fine. Dragon it's all good. Sea Dog, you're just going to sit there. At some point, I might actually go and take the Tower of Doobie Watson. Let's get a gunny girl. And 
Leo the Space Nerds. Comment for Cass and Dora. I do like dropping comments on people. Setting fire to them is preferable, but if all else fails, just drop a comment on them. That works too. It's... That's... Hello? Uh... Okay... I guess I could come and help. I mean, it's better to probably help than not. Right? And plus, you've got cannons and shit, so... Sure, let's, uh... Gonna maybe auto resolve this, but thought we'd help out. Give them a little little helping hands. So our reinforcements, what's left of our settlement garrison, or what is our settlement garrison, will be arriving in just over a minute. In the meantime, our allied forces are positioned up on this hill over here. Putting their artillery in trees, which of course is a really good idea, because it means the cannonballs can bounce off trees directly in front of them. Fantastic. However, this army is fairly beaten up. I don't know why. I don't know what's happened to them. But I'm glad. If this was a full, fresh stack, I'd be somewhat concerned because our allied forces are mostly missile units. <laughs> so while they're going to do a lot of damage to the enemy, I don't know if they'll hold them at bay for, for long enough for us to actually turn up. Get some missile shots in there, and it's just peasant long spearmen as well. Still, I mean, I could have auto resolved this, but I'm, I'm fairly confident we can we can win it fairly easily. And uh, my garrison won't take any damage either because they're not going to turn up in time to actually help out the battle. At least if if my ally does get wiped out, then at least I should be able to deal with any survivors. There's a big blob of marauders over here fighting the peasant long spearmen. Unfortunately, I've got that. That absolutely bullshit celestial bombardment thing that drops a comet on on stuff. And that's always quite nice because it does a lot of damage, especially to... I mean, it does a lot of damage anyway. But um, clustered up units like this, that that's the kind of thing you want to use it on because it will effectively just wipe the fuckers out. So as our... Ah, oh, here we go. So as our reinforcements moving up, I can see our horses ahead of everyone else, we should just then be able to drop a nice big comet directly on their heads. Ooh. And yep, that, that killed... <laughs> that killed a lot of them. That's going to cause a bit of a rout there. Elsewhere, it looks like this, it looks like the Marauders mostly attacked the, the Peasant Spearmen. I guess a lot of the Marauders were axes, so it's a very range-heavy engagement. I think the Marauders probably could have won if they just thrown all of their melee units at the missile units and engaged them in combat. Probably, they probably would have been fine then. I mean, until I turned up. But uh, my reinforcements aren't even really needed because they're not even going to get into range before the enemy army has a chance to rout. Okay, well, I didn't have to help out very much, but um, that's fine. I'll take the cash, thanks. Thank you. Ah, uh, encounter toll. Now, the blood guzzlers... Do I care about them? Not really. Mind you, that's actually quite a... quite a beefy little force there. It's almost as strong as us, and I'm not... 200 cargo. I'm just going to pay up, I think. I'm just going to pay up. Yeah, let's just pay up. The Iron Dragon. Let's just do that. Right, let's go to the Terracotta Graveyards, because 
that's that's kind of like our front line. We still need to find the rest of the Skaven, and God knows where they are. Like, the Orcs have taken the... Uh, right, we could maybe deal with the Orcs over here, couldn't we? That could be an option. But we don't really... Well, do I need you there? If we get defences here, not really. Um, but the Orcs could attack. Well, can they? Can they get... I don't think they can. I think this is kind of like all cliff, so they can't actually... I don't think you can get into this water, so they'd have to come all the way around. So actually, we're, we're fairly safe. So I could actually just, you know, wage war on the Orcs while I'm dealing with other things. Uh, that could be an option. Is that what we're going to do? I think it might be. What we do need to do is get rid of all this horrible corruption. So what do we have that can deal with corruption? Anything? Can we deal with corruption? We must be able to deal with corruption. That's income. That's growth. That's growth. That's control. Okay. That does reduce corruption. Oh, maybe we need the capital for like an anti-corruption thing. In which case, we don't have that. So that's that's a problem. But meow meow will give us a defensive alliance. Perfect. Is there anyone who would confederate with us? Nope. Military alliance. Nope. Defensive alliance. Ooh. The celestial court looks forward to our deliberations. Get, well, tell them to hold on to their motherfucking hats. For the dragon. Because it's we're going in hard. The Imperial Wardens aren't far off, actually. I mean, they've only got one settlement, but it's the one we want, so <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, okay, we're going to secure the lands of stand stone and steel. We're going to do that. Uh, I kind of want more more control here, don't I? This gives us more control. Um, so actually, I might do that. Because once this event runs out, which should happen soon, we might actually have a dearth of yang. You don't want a dearth of yang. Ooh, that's nasty, that. Very nasty indeed. Income from buildings? Sure. The compass! The compass swings! Because I need income from all buildings. Good. Uh, Armour of Fortune is fine. Do we have... Right, let's have... Hang on. What have you got, my old chum? Armour of the Midnight Sun. Uh, tell you what, we can merge these together, can't we? What do we get? The Collar of Corn. That's... <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Wear that one. Ah, uh, good. And you've got a jade amulet? No, you've got the opal amulet. Well, the jade amulet's better because it gives us more winds of magic, so that's good. Of the, eight winds. Uh, the opal amulet is pretty trash. Uh, the dragon, right, that's garbage. That is, oh, it's only one use, so that's kind of garbage, so I'm going to fuse both of those. A standard of seeping decay. Sure. I quite like the fact you can add ancillaries from it. That's quite nice. Uh, that is actually going to be quite useful. I don't think that's useful. So, oh, crap. What did, I, what did I have there? Oh, no. Okay, we'll have that one. Did I have the monk? I think it was the monk. We need the monk because I've got lots of corruption here. Can I give that to you? Sure. Experience gain. Yeah, that's that's quite a useful thing to have. I'm gonna give Leo the snake the, the the snake nerds the space nerds that one. Okay, good, good. The skull mantle is. You know what? That's not actually a bad. You know what? Z dog have a. Oh, what did you have? You had the sky titan relic. Which is legit pretty good. You know what? If I give you the... No, I can't give that to you because you're not a wizard. Oh, I need to give that... Okay, you... Okay, you've got that because it's just, it's just useful. I do like the plus 40 attack. See, this, this is... Right. So, I realise this mod might be a little bit overpowered, but... 
it's nice to get magic items where I'm like, oh, I would like to equip that, but there's too much good stuff and I, I have to I have to make that choice, right? Because currently, in Total War Warhammer, it's very much a case of, I guess I'll slap this in, this is slightly better, so I'll equip that, I guess that's fine. And that seems to be the case with a lot of stuff. Like, there's no real interesting choices to make. All the choices are just kind of a bit fucking bland. But, I mean, this might be a little bit OP, but I kind of just like the fact that I... But there's just some good stuff there that I can kind of like, oh, what do I want to equip? Like, Armour of Corn. Yeah, I mean, probably not the best thing to equip. It's a... But, you know, what what you going to do, hey? The Rune of Courage is fine. It gives you the Rune of Courage, but it also makes you immune to psychology, but the Rune of Courage also makes you immune. So it just makes you double immune to psychology, so. Good? Maybe? No? Hard to tell, really, isn't it? Hard to tell. Probably not worth worrying about. Yeah, we're going to save our monies, because the more money we have, the better. We do have an outpost available at the uh, the village of the Cat Boys. Do I want to build that? Not really, because I can recruit all those units anyway, so there's no point building that there. Realistically, it's not really going to help me. Ah, no, go, ch ch get, get out of here. No, I don't want to build it. Don't make me. The City of Monkeys. You know what? We will build the defense of the City of Monkeys, just in case... We probably don't need it, but you have the honor of y you never know. You never know. Non aggression pact, new. Don't need it. Want to be friends with Greasus? Don't need to be friends with you. Oh, we've got a lot of missile units here, so I'm gonna add some more spear boys. I think. Bloodmore is dead. They're out of here. Apparently, the what? How the fuck are you down there? Alright, well, that's... Crown of Black Iron. Fair enough. Uh, that's not a bad... Oh, we got one Yang. But we've got six Yang from events. So when that dissipates, uh, we're going to have a bad, a bad Yang time. You know what I should do, maybe, is switch... Oh, that is Yang. This one. This one I want to switch to that one. And I need... Oh, we do have defences at Terragotta Graveyard. I'm not at war with you. We can replenish. Death Master... So Death Master Snitch must have a settlement over here somewhere. Why and how, I don't know, but... There's lots of sh I, I I guess it's Zinch doing shenanigans. It must be. It's the only thing I can think of. Fucking lunatic. What what's what's he doing? Hey, eh? Zinch. Zinch. Good God. Upkeep reduction for peasant people. That's right. We can pay the poor people less. <laughs> so how's the how's the cost of uh, of living going for you? The peasants be like, oh no, it's terrible. If we could get a pay rise. Actually, I've got something different in mind. A pay cut. Ah, uh, it's just like real life, isn't it? Wankers. Uh, right, we'll get that one. And sure, let's let's just upgrade that to Mac. Because it does have our recruitment buildings in it. So it's probably a good idea to... Hello? Well, I don't think we're going to be able to fend that off. So... So I don't even know where you came from. I guess I guess I wasn't paying attention. That never happens. Confederation between oh, meow meow. God, son of a. Yeah, you're going to run away, or at least you're going to try. Uh, I can repair that. Right, we can murder you. Take a... Holy fuck! The fuck is that? <sighs> In 
Labor. They shall fight for me. Tell me. Well, 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 obviously don't, don't fucking auto resolve against pink horrors. Fuck me. <sighs> right, we'll repair that one. Uh, at some point that event, I don't know how long the event's going on for though. Does, does, it, does it just stay? I thought it was like five turns, is it? Has it been five turns? Has it not? Has it? Uh, okay, that's. I like how you've like just you've you've walked past Miao Ying's forces and you're just like, yeah, we'll just go for you instead. All right, we're gonna have to come down here and try and deal with this. Do we? We don't have defences there because that's not my settlement. Are you going for that settlement? I mean, you really should, in my view. In my, from from my perspective, you really should be. You shouldn't be just tearing down towards me, but I get the sneaky suspicion you probably will be. Oh, that aura's already pissed me off. It says valiant defeat. Can we maybe win? You know what? Worth a punt. So we're holed up at the city centre because I thought it was probably the best thing to do. And they're sending the flyers in, so we should be able to kill those off fairly easily. Furies. And the Screamers trying to engage our missile units. Of course, if you have flyers of your own, wait until your main army's in range. There's no point throwing your flyers directly at the missile units right this instant. It's not going to help. Like, wait until you're about to engage, then throw them. Then they're actually doing some use. They're stopping your missile unit, the enemy missile unit from firing, and then you can maybe get some charge on the rear. You never know. So we do have a horde of Forsaken advancing, and they're going to take a lot of fire as they do so. Not as much fire as I thought, though. Uh, that shield holding for the first volley, and then their health going down. So you get a little wind blast there, which is going to force them back, keep them at bay. Just few moments longer blobbing them up as well uh, making it easier to finish them off although they are actually going to get into, into melee combat fairly easily see they got a lot of weapon strength 83 Oof. 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 we have uh, exalted pink horrors opening fire I mean they've got exalted pink horrors not just like pink horrors but exalted pink horrors like, pink horrors are fine, but exalted pink horrors? Ow! Taking a little bit of fire there as... Our, they turned and fired very quickly. I point out, if I told my pink horrors to do that when I was playing the Zinch campaign, they'd just be like, yeah, we'll get around to it. Yeah, maybe. At some point. We have our tower up. It is a rocket tower. Thank goodness. That rocket tower is going to be doing a lot of damage as long as it hits. Fortunately, the uh, AI didn't seem to be aiming for it. Otherwise, they'd be able to take you down pretty easily. Gonna be honest, if, I, if I saw a rank 4 tower, I would take that thing down almost immediately, because they are very nasty. More exalted pink horrors advancing. Gonna try and pick them off. That shield stopping. Stopping our shots momentarily, but we're gonna break through. And uh, then our missile attacks will start taking them out. So of course, our missile units are gonna be 
The most useful thing we have on the battlefield. Oh, that rocket does not do well at attacking units on the bridge. It's good at dealing with the melee units, but the missile units are just a little bit spaced out for them to, uh, to properly take out. We managed to take out the pink horrors, but the exalted pink horrors are another thing entirely. And I, to be honest, I should have pulled my horses out. I was trying to keep them busy, but to be honest, the horses are better off doing something else. Not trying to take on exalted pink horrors. Managed to deal with one unit of pink horrors. We need to deal with another one. It's soaking up a lot of our ammunition, though. And we've also got pink horrors now attacking on the flank. So we're having to deal with them as well. I think that the problem with with Total War Battles, in my opinion, is that the AI and you are playing very different games. The AI is more than happy to just throw armies away. It doesn't care. Like The worst thing you can face as a player is an enemy army with a lot of missile units because they will do a lot of damage regardless of how, how quickly you take them out. Right? They're, they're more than likely to do a lot more damage than melee units. So, the problem is, for, for a player, that's a problem. But for the AI, they don't care. Because they can just keep spawning armies until the cows come home. They don't give a shit. So, while you have to play excessively carefully, the AI can throw their units away anytime they like. Uh, the, the intensity probably doesn't help very much here. Um, so, these guys... Have got a lot more bonus stats than they should do uh, because they are taking. To be honest, what I should have used my horses for is retaking these objectives. That would have been a really good use for them because they could do that. They could retake those objectives and then the AI would have lost their intensity bonuses. And that would have been really helpful. However, with most of the Forsaken now dealt with, we can now throw our melee units into engage the enemy exalted pink horrors that's going to make our life a little bit easier you can see that they're trying to push their way through but we've got celestial dragon guard here now i thought the celestial dragon guard would do very well against these guys uh not so much as it happens no not really they they don't do well against them at all over here though we do have our tower helping out so we can blob up some enemy units and then hopefully the towers can do some damage. Again, I wasted those horses. I should have kept them much more. I should have kept them away from the enemy units. That's what I should have done. Another tower coming up there. Hopefully that will help out a little bit. This rocket tower is doing a lot of damage to the Forsaken as they try and push their way through our peasant long spearmen. When it hits. What the fuck were you aiming at? That house? Does someone own it that you don't like? Probably some, like, parish council fucking argument going on there. Okay, so this guy, he's taking a lot of damage. I would like to have finished him off, but he manages to escape. They, they just take a lot of damage from him. They don't have a lot of health. So they they die very, very quickly. But unfortunately, he is going to get away with uh, a scrap of health remaining. He also has, like, a stalk ability. I don't know where he's got that from, but it does mean that he's going to get out of range and they won't be able to see him anymore, which is a shame because taking him out would have been a real help. We're trying to take out the last few units. Uh, it's... I mean, looking at numbers here, we, we're doing very well. Unfortunately, their units are just way better quality. So I'm using the horses to try and take the, the minor supply location here, but because they've lost so many members of the unit, it's actually taking a long time. And, oh, some nice hits there. But Zhao Tan is going to go down. He's fighting exalted pink horrors all by himself. What a guy. He's got some lightning attacks there, which are pretty cool. I think wizards would be cooler if they used, like, some, like, just their normal attacks. That's fine. But they use some, like, spells in melee combat. That would be pretty cool. Like these guys. Like, if you had an amber wizard, he'd, like, you know throw thorns and stuff to attack people. That would be really neat rather than just hitting people with his staff. Okay, well, we've done 
We've done significant damage to the enemy army, but we're running low on ammunition. The Celestial Dragon Guards are losing against these Pink Horrors. It says losing slightly. It doesn't even say how these guys are doing. It's just like, ah, I don't know. So they're still fighting on, but it's not going very well. Uh, missile units losing the last of our ammunition to take down the Exalted Pink Horrors. That is going to destroy the unit. But we then have more spawn of Zinch. I mean, we've, we've killed a lot of the enemy army. It looks like Zinch is going to win the day here, but... But we took a shit ton of demons with us. And with any luck, they won't be able to replace some of the units they lost here. So, you know, that that's good. Maybe, is it? kind of a bit of a clusterfuck to be honest the 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 settlements beyond the bastion there's chaos all over the place it's a nightmare gonna have to deal with that push them back hopefully meow meow can help us out yeah the special dragon guard i mean they are slowly grinding the pink horrors down but it's so close that the the pink horrors aren't aren't really disintegrating and they've killed 164 which is very good. The Central Dragon Guard is 94, which is not as good. Come on, guys. I'm not paying by the hour. I mean, to be honest, I don't think these guys will be getting any more pay anyway. Uh, I don't... I can't, I've run out of ammunition, and... The spawn are basically unstoppable. Well, it's a good attempt. We killed a lot of demons, but unfortunately, the settlement is lost. Well, he did lose most of his army. Continue working with me. That's the main thing. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with you because Greasus doesn't like you, and I need to be. Look, I need to attach myself to the power. If you're going to declare war on me, aren't you? Yes, of course you are. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done it myself. Maybe? Settlement sacks. Okay. Well, we're going to have a rebellion there. But to be honest, it's a clusterfuck anyway. So, who cares? The Iron Dragon. Right, you guys, you, you guys wandered off. So, I'm going to not worry about you. In theory. And our caravan is on his way. going to get some big, big cash prizes. It's going to be very exciting. So why did you wander over here now? Okay, what I'm going to do... Yeah, well, yeah, after that fucking auto-resolve I am. Jesus. The fuck was that? Oh, fuming. Absolutely fuming about that. Oh. Is that event just forever? How long does it last? Is it forever? Does the event last forever? Do I have to... I mean, it, it doesn't... S so maybe it does. Maybe the event does just last forever. So maybe I just need to offset it with shit. Maybe. Uh, should we get a less celestial tower? Let's get a celestial tower. I love a good celestial tower. And I'd like a Celestial Barracks, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. So we've got more Orcs down here. I will. And Gads is... I mean, he's not in my territory. The garrison here is fine. I'm okay with that. Child of the so we don't really have much to... I, I do have money here, don't I? Yes, I do. So let's get some more poor people in our army. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to have rebellion anyway. So I may as well let it rebel, to be honest. It's just more Zinch. And with any luck, Zinch will kill Zinch. Or not. Who knows? Hello. You want me to join your war against those guys? No, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm good. 
And we're going to keep Greasers on side because I do not need to be attacked. I don't need my bottom being nibbles. You want to eat some of my peasant archers? Get stuffed. Should be fine. Uh, that was okay. That was all right. Our ambush was foiled. Where did that army go? That's what I'm nervous about. I don't really want... I mean, I, I imagine you'll probably declare war on me anyway. And the weaker that Miao Jing is... Miao, Miao Ying? Miao Jing? Miao Ying is the better, right? So if I just ignore these guys... Oh! That's where you are. That's where you're hiding, you little shits! Found you! Oh, you didn't get the ambush either. I should have... Yeah, of course they were in ambush stance. That would make sense. Never mind, we'll kill them all anyway. I'm glad I didn't get the ambush. The AI doesn't ambush that much. Usually only when it's utterly pinned down and knows it's going to die. It'll either encamp or ambush. But most of the time it'll just encamp. Who knows? So the Longmar Riders coming down to engage the Norsecon Warhounds. And doing a lot of damage to them very rapidly. Some of them seem to be doing a little jig. Hopefully that will be fixed, because that's really annoying, because they're usually just hanging around, uh, not actually doing any attacks or anything. So some tro we need to get out. We do not want to fight trolls. Get out of there, boys. Run. Let the Iron Hail Gunners do their stuff. Oh, yes. Yes, tearing through that, that unit of trolls. Meanwhile, Zhao Ming in the center is, you know, just kicking the shit out of everyone. It's his thing. Some berserkers charging in. He does not care. Nope, they're running away as well. Everyone's running away. Hooray! That was an easy win. On the left flank, we do have Leo the Space Nerd, who's taking on a bunch of big, burly men. But fortunately, he does have some assistance. Jade Warriors, although they stop at the last second, let like the Iron Hail Gunners do their stuff, because why wouldn't we? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that works. Good, good, good. Okay, well, that was a bit more satisfactory. Uh, let's take the replenishment. Okay, you should be fairly beaten. But let's go and finish you off. Fight! I'm a little bit concerned that these guys may just turn and declare war on me and, like, throw themselves at me. And if that is the case, then I guess we'll just do our best. Ah, oh, do I want to give you more weapon strength? You know what, I'm going to give you more melee attack. An extension of my celestial will. Indeed. And what an extension it is. I do like a little bit of final transmutation sometimes. Oh, a bunch of garbage. Excellent. Prepare the the dicing machine for the turning the garbage into better stuff. Um, that's not too bad, but I don't really care about it. So I'll take those and I'll fuse the staff of change. It's an explosion. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Shield mirrored pool is kind of trash. I could, I could do this. Did we get double barreled? Right, those two are garbage. So I'm gonna the perfected eagle bow. It does increase his missile strength. He doesn't have, but it does increase the um, the the missile damage of my entire, or the range of my entire army. So, I mean, that's quite fun. So let's do that. 
We don't have any armor anymore, but that's fine. We don't need it. Uh, yes, recruit rank four. I mean, not that we're going to recruit many caravans. Oh, you know what I could do? I could give you the armor of corn, right? Because... Because otherwise, I mean, we're not doing anything with it, so we can, we can go with that. What is the growth for Shang Yang? We need two turns. Yes, two turns, and we can, right. We'll, we'll we'll save up for that then. Got a little garrison there, a little army. I kind of need that. What happened to those guys? Because I mean, you. That's that's your only army, right? Your army's trash. Because you threw yourself at me, got your ass kicked, did win the battle, but lost the war. I'm not going to join your war against against Daddy. You're asking me to rebel against Daddy, and I'm going to say no. I say no to you. Found cargo. Ooh, more cargo. That replaced the the cargo that we lost. That's nice. That's good. Do I help Meow Meow? Or... Nah. Oh, you've got that little... That town over there. Right, we need to go and stamp on that. Oh, shit. Shit. I mean, you're not currently at war with me. You might go for Nan Lee. Oh shit! Oh no! Meow meow! Meow meow! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Um. Oh meow meow's gonna die. Acceptable. Barely. Uh. Okay. So. The fuck did you lose that? Is there a garrison there? Fuck. There is. Oh shit, there's a fucking garrison there, which means that's where Kairos is. Oh no, it's all gone south. Shit, he's broken through. Not informed of this encounter. No, no we weren't. Oh no, <laughs> everything's gone tits up. It was fine. <laughs> everything's gone tits up. Everyone panic. Pay up, we'll lose more cargo. Uh, I think I can take you, to be honest, so... I'm not too worried about that. Oh no. That's snap. Now is not that time. Uh-huh. Serve and honor your ancestors. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Let's go to Wing Chat. Okay, the Snap. Right, what we need to do. Does Nan Lee have a garrison? Uh, yes. Really? Why? Base evaluation, relative fact. I mean, yeah, I mean, my, my relative faction strength is a lot better than yours because you don't have any armies. Oh no, you do have Poe Me, so you're not you're not you're not catastrophically dead, but Kairos has broken through in the south. And that is very much my problem now, meow meow. You stupid lightning bint. Gung ho. Uh let's do better scales. He's got really good scales, he does. It's got a lovely pair of scales. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, what a lovely pair of scales. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to link up with Z-Dog and we're going to have to push Kairos back and retake the Southern Lands um, because that, that's gone that's gone pretty pretty bad, to be fair. Yin, I do need Yin. Slayer Fifth. Oh, it's um, it's pretty, pretty harsh. 
Is that just... Okay, so if we do that... A shroud of Dripping Death. So I guess that is just... It's just, just there, is it? A warrant of trade. Ooh, that's nice. Income from trade faction wide. Holy shit. Okay, we're going to move you over here. Natural authority. The celestial blacksmith. Now, how can how far can you move? You can move over there. So, if I march Z Dog over here, my hope is that Kairos will see this and just go a little bit insane. I'm not too worried about Falco. We have, luckily, I built walls in most places. Not here, though. Uh, let's knock you down. We'll get defenses there. But with any luck, we can lure in Kairos. He won't see this fucking coming. Gung ho! Let's give you inspired defense. Uh, maximum cargo. I'm not super worried about that. I'm actually going to go inspire defense, I think. That's what we're going to do. I'm not going to bother repairing these, because, uh, uh, to be honest, at the moment, the the lands of Cathay beyond the wall are a fucking lost cause. Because Meow Meow just shit the beds so hard. Oh my god, did she shit the beds. Oh, we don't want to go here. I'm going to go there. Okay, let's set, set sail. No. <laughs> Stop. That's that's not what we're doing. Oh no, z Doc. Kairos teleported. Alright, well, worst case, z Doc dies. That's worst case. But, at that point, Kairos can't move either, so... Yeah, but you can't spell glory without gory, and this is going to be painful. Getting ambushed from all sides. Plus, of course, Z-Dog is marching, which means... Unless she wins this battle, and that's not going to happen. Uh, she, she... She she dead. She dead. After this battle, I'll go, is she still alive? She won't be. No, she dead. She marching, she dead. Oh, there's just, they're just all over us. The Furies are right in the mix, getting, tearing apart our missile units. Our missile units couldn't get any range, and uh, our melee units are mostly poor people with pointy sticks, and, um... Frankly, what little pay they're getting, they're not earning it. They are not earning. Uh, Z Dog is getting torn apart by a turkey, a magical turkey. Get out of here. Get him. No, that's not going to work. He is going to kick the shit out of you. It's a bit of a magical duel going on there, but Z Dog is, is, yeah, the routing. Routing, and everyone else is routing, and uh, this battle is, is, yeah. Okay, well. I'm not going to lie, that was an absolute slaughter. But uh, they didn't actually kill that many, weirdly. Did, did that wipe out the army? Where the fuck did... Oh, Z-Dog was killed. But there's... Ja okay, Xiao Ming. Z-Dog has, has fallen in battle. The Age of Rage, you're damn right. Oh, Kairos. It's time to pick on someone your own. Okay, we're not we're not his size yet, but we can be. Fight in unison. Chase fear from your mind. Right, you overgrown turkey. Trying to send you right back to the colonel where you belong. Let's have a little magical jewel. How about it? Kairos. I'll say magical. We're going to punch you in the face with a giant lizard. Up you go. Come on, Jamin. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. That's it. Do some sweet moves. 
Right, now get the turkey. Oh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Has he fated you? Oh, he's used Gaze of Fate, you little shit. Never mind. Meanwhile, we have Furies attacking on the flank. So we're going to send the Great Longmar Riders to intercept. Also getting flamed by the chariot. But fortunately, it's decided to go in melee combat me, which is fine, I guess. On the left flank, we've got more blue horrors, so I'm moving to intercept those. And we've got Mini Tao, who is taking on the Chaos Furies there. Zhao Ming, freed from being frozen, is now chasing after Kairos to go and bop him. This is for Z-Dog, you stupid feathered twat. Oh, I'm going to get you. Some more blue horrors causing us some issues, but our great Longmar ride is now freed up. So we're going to bring them down, land them, and then directly charge into the flank of the blue horrors while Zhao Ming is dealing with Kairos. Yeah, they're not going to enjoy that. Oh, they're all over the place. And the Soul Grinder, really the last thing to deal with. We are going to move up. Oh, Cannon's just bouncing off his bottom. He's not going to like that. The Iron Hell Gunner's moving up to engage that. And some Blue Horrors. Still some Blue Horrors hanging around. Send our Jade Warriors in to intercept them. Looks like they want to get the, the crossbows. I'm not going to let them. There we go. Now they're getting shot in the back and attacked from the front. Kairos is being a tricksy little shit. But his soul grinder is having to dodge lots of cannon shells and also the iron hail gunners. Oh, ow. Rockets, bullet. There's a lot of bullets. Mini Tao took a little bit of damage over there, but she's, uh, she's fine. Ow. Right. For that, more cannonballs to the face. And down he goes. Just Kairos left to finish off. And he is starting to crumble due to being sad. Oh, well. Yeah, Scry away on that one, you feather prick. Oh, warpstone armor. Uh, let's take the replenishment. So we're in tip-top condition. Yep, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Literally. Oh, spell resistance. Okay, we do have... That's that little army. Uh, what I might do is actually bring you down here. I'm sorry, what was that about? Substances? Not important. I'm going to give you the Warpstone armor. Because that means you just do damage to everyone around you, which is fun. And thematic, since you do love your Warpstone, don't you? Hey, buddy? You do, you do enjoy your Warpstone. Well, it's a shame. Oh, we, did we lose the Frostworm Skull? Jalming. Desert Alchemist. Fuck. Never mind. An extension my celestial will. Oh, no, we didn't. No. Uh, the... What did we get? Ooh. Fish from Legion Lots. Uh, the, the other one, the, the research one. We've lost the research one. Never mind. No point crying over spilt milk. Uh, do, do I need for balance? I need one yin. Uh, let's go. Let's get that because this celestial intervention is going to be quite useful. Plus, I need the replenishment. The Iron Dragon. Plus, I need the replenishment. Let's go final transmutation. And we are then going to grab more Comet of Cassandora. Fire! Right, let's go into an ambush stance there, see if we can lure in the second army. If so, we can push back, maybe go and grab Nan Gao 
and secure that. And maybe then we're going to have to secure the Bastion because, oh, God. Meow Meow has just, she's, oh, she's all over the fucking place, isn't she? Thief Guild. Ooh. Ooh. Stalking techniques. I don't want my, I don't want Peasant Archer stalking people. That's just creepy. Uh, I wanted Yin, though, so let's go for more melee. Oh, mind you. We need we need new lord, don't we? Oh, but I could I could get you the anti-capitalist. It is going to cost almost nine k though. Because we could get harmonizer. Hmm. 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 Okay, well, here's the poll for next time. Should we get you? No, indeed. Um, should we get you, or should we just get a, a generic lord? Because obviously you's going to cost a lot of money, and uh, it would be nice to have that money in our back pocket to, to build shit. I'm going to get defences everywhere, because God knows uh, I'm going to need it. I would, I, I would like that, but I suspect that's actually your capital now, isn't it? Is it your capital? Won't be making any deals till you agree. Oh, I'm in charge. I do not agree to that. Oh, would you actually? Would you actually do that? Can I just have it? You know what? I might do that next turn because then that Zinch. I, I get. A, I get the sneaky suspicion if I take that settlement, the Zinch army will go. Oh shit! Let's get it before he can put um so i'm gonna hold off so the poll for next time should we get you or should we just get a generic general you the anti-capitalist or a generic general and uh, it looks like we're gonna have to uh clean up meow meow's mess as per fucking usual i'll have to wait until next time thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode